Welcome to some John Deere 8350 Cedar Hacks with me, Mr. Sealy P. So in this video I'm going to be looking at John Deere 8350 Hacks or Player Hacks. Now before I get loads and loads of comments, which I did the last time I did a hack video, what's going to come up now is the uh, Cambridge Dictionary definition there are lots of definitions of the word hack because there are loads of different ways the word hack can be used. So, right, with that cleared up, <coughs> a bit of help or advice, a solution to a problem. Now, the first of these came from Tommy, and I'm going to put on problem in the thumbnail, it probably says player hacks, but anyway, regardless, um, I've had loads of comments, loads of pictures, people sent me, Saraga sent me, um, one, oh, I can't remember the width of the seeding setup he had. I've had loads of people comment. I had a message from Tommy asking because we were, were trying to work out whether or not this would work manually. Because at the moment, this seeder will only work if you hire a worker. On its own, it will work fine. But as soon as you hook up multiple ones, it will only work on hiring a worker. So Tommy suggested, what about doing it rather than in a V in an echelon like that? Now, physics will dictate in the real world that this won't work, but this isn't the real world. This is Farming Simulator 19 world. Um, so would this work? So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. So thanks, Tommy. Let's give this a go. Will the echelon work? I bet I've got the other setup in the way. Well, let's hire a worker. It absolutely does. So, the echelon will work. However, it won't work if you try and do it manually. If I go back to this setup now, if I start the first one and drop it down, and then try and click on the next one, turn it on, it turns the first one off. So, most of these are only going to work if you hire a worker, unfortunately. That's just the way it is. Um, I say most of these, the seeding ones, anyway. So, that's the first one. That's just a bit of advice, a solution to a problem. If you don't want to do a V formation and you want to, would it run this way? Yes, it will run this way. Which brings me on to the next one. And this was something I mentioned in a video, and I had a couple of people comment and say, yes, it does work. So, I thought I would show it. And it's this one Will a seed tender, seed cart work with these seeders? Well, Let's see, shall we? I've got the hats and Bickler, and I've got it on the back. I've only got three cedars, because I wanted to see as a kind of proof of concept, will it work? Now, the cedars don't have anything in them at all. They're empty. I've only got seed in the hats and Bickler seed cart. So, again, actually, you know what? Uh, no, hire a worker. Down they go, and off they go. Absolutely no problem at all. These will work with a seed cart hooked on the back because obviously if you're running multiple ones of these and I had someone I'm sure someone messaged me the other day and said they they did a field with over a hundred meter width with loads of these hooked up now obviously these seeders only hold a small amount um, if you haven't seen any of the mod reviews if you haven't seen this mod um, it's the 8350 um, it's only 6,000 to buy it's six meters wide and you can hook them together like this which is absolutely fantastic um, and you can hook more and more and more and more and more together. Anyway, so it does work with the seed cart. Not the cheapest setup. Obviously, the cedars come in at, well, 18 grand for those cedars, and then 98 for that. I suppose when you look at it like that, you've got an 18 metre cedar, and if you went wider, it does actually work out pretty good, in all honesty. Right, so those are a couple of player ones that people sent message me to say will they work can they work or people just saying yes they do work which brings me on to a couple that i fig fiddled around with to see if i can get them to work so the question is are you fed up with only being able to plow out to a maximum of 10 meters um, if we go into the store and we go to plows we can go up to the SPSL 9 for 130,000, which is a 10.5 metre plough. It requires 550 horsepower to pull that bit of a beast. So then I suddenly thought, well, on FS17, we had the... Was it the Lemken Gigant? There was like a, a kind of a hookup setup, a bit like the trailed lifter. If you don't know what the trailed lifter is, that is also in the store, and I think that's under miscellaneous. 
it's a brilliant bit of kit and it takes there you go it's right there it takes a normal trailer hitch and turns it into a three point link so you put a trailer hitch on the front end and on the back is a three point link now it's designed for things like the big buds uh, because the big buds don't have a three point link on the back so any tractors that don't have a three point link on the back you use this as a kind of connecting piece um so i thought well hang on a minute surely using the john deere 8350 we could make this work so i've got the john deere 8350 i've moved the arms out a bit and i've got a couple of the trailed lifters and on the back of the trailed lifters i've got a couple of the lizard well what used to be the six meter weber plow which is now the lizard plow six meter so with two of those on we've now got a 12 meter plow that tractor is not a 500 plus horsepower tractor so in theory this should work well you can see from behind me it does work now what you have to do is have a bit of a tweak around um, just to get the size of this John Deere right so if I go to my John Deere do R1 and my right stick I can bring this out and back if you look at the side panel to just get it right so you get the ploughs in exactly the right position once you've done that it's a bit of a no-brainer right so with this one you have to do it manually because if you try and hire a worker on this one unlike everything else with this cedar um, it requires you to um, hire a worker because I've only got one there I can actually get this to work now I've got to go right to the very back implements here drop that one down drop that one down <laughs> and away we go we are now ploughing at 12 metres, which goes beyond what we've been able to do before. On console, anyway. There are probably much bigger ploughs on PC, I totally understand that. But for us console guys, this is a hack. It solves a problem, it's a solution. I didn't really want to go up over there. Let's drop that one down again. Drop that one down again. Now turning you have to come on quite straight because obviously as these twist you can sometimes miss a bit and it does take a little bit of tweaking to get them just right so you don't leave a strip in the middle. But bearing in mind this tractor is not a 500 horsepower tractor and I'm now ploughing at 12 metres. That's cool, I like that a lot. Anyway, stop the engine there. What if you're not happy with 12 metres? What if, what if you want to go a bit bigger? Now this is actually a fairly inexpensive setup. The two Gregoire Bessons are only 15 grand each, aren't they, I think? And the Cedar's six. So we're up to, what, 36 grand. And then I think the two Lizards, we'll have a look at those actually, the two Lizards on the back. So the Gregoire Bessons, just to double check, are 15 grand each, that's 30. And the Cedar brings us up to 36. If we go to our ploughs, just to double check this, I want to get it wrong. Uh, where are we? That's 17 grand. So another 34 for two of those. So we're up to 60, 70 grand. We're up to 70 grand. That's right, isn't it? 36 and 34. Yeah, 70,000. So for 70,000, we've got um, a 12 meter plow. And like I say, if we look at the SPSL, that's 130 grand. So we've saved ourselves 60 grand already by doing that setup so if money's no object if you're not bothered about the finances and you want to go a little bit bigger you could maybe go with this option i've gone with a big bud because it's got a lot of horsepower i said with money's no object but that said that tractor's not overly expensive i've got my john deere 8350 but what i've got on the back of that are two culti plows now these will give you the plowed state but they will give you the look of cultivating these are eight meters each which brings us out even further to 16 meters again a little bit of tweaking and you can get these pretty much next to each other <laughs> I've still got 16 meters so let's do the same thing again now this is a lot easier because you've only got three implements on the back so drop one down drop the other down let's get cruise control on 
we are now coulter ploughing at 16 metres. That's brilliant. I love it. I say a little bit of tweaking here and there. You can get them pretty much next to each other so you don't miss anything. There you go. So technically it's ploughing. It is giving you the cultivating state, but it's ploughing too. And that's pulling at 7 miles an hour. Again, this has to be done manually because if you try and do this one with a worker, it wants to seed. And because there's no seed in the tank, and even if you did put seed in the tank, you're then seeding and cultivating over the top of it, which kind of renders it a bit pointless. Um, turning, we should be okay if we don't go too tight. Which we are, no problem at all. And there you go. A couple of solutions and a couple of hacks. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.